Alright, welcome back to LEGO Parts of the Caribbean. I'm going to switch to Norrington just because we've played as well in Jack enough. Time to give another character the spotlight. So, the beginning of this fight is pretty much just the same as when we first fought him in the first level of the first movie. Um, just keep wailing on him and eventually he'll get hit and then he will just run away. And we have to follow him inside of the church. But we don't really have a way of doing that yet because only Jack can use those little spots. So we have to uh, pretty much make a way in. Over there, you can see, over there to the left, you can see the red spot. Since we are not Mr. Gibbs, we cannot um, do anything about that unless we find ourselves a uh, mallet. Which, oh look, there's a mallet. And we just use that, so it's pretty handy. And yeah, this will just allow us to get inside of the... Uh, yeah, that'll lower that. Now this part you're going to want to switch to Will, because he has the uh, axes that you can throw. And there you go, that'll lower that. If I can get up there. And then we'll just lower this, and head on up there. Oh. Alright, looks like Will's going to have to do that. And then Norrington's going to head on up. And then, is there something to grab over there? No. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to do this again. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to do right here. Oh, I see. That's sly. Now I think I have to lower the, um, this thing to my right. Yep. That way Will can jump up. Oh, there's Jack. I actually didn't know he was, like, right there. Alright, now we head outside. Oh, come on, Will, move. I hate when the AI blocks you like that. Come on, I could totally jump over there. It's not letting me jump. Whatever. I just totally should have been able to do that. Oh, I need a torch? That's great. There's one right below me. Again, I could totally jump up there. That's just awful. And now we will be able to get in again using this new hole in the wall. Again, use Will and his throwing axes. Oh, uh, Jack's gonna run away again because he's scared. Yeah, so we cannot use that method of getting across, unfortunately. Come on, get down. There we go. And now we just keep beat beating on him. Come on, get a hit on him. There we go. He is down for the count. And now we're on the wheel. In probably one of the best scenes in the movie. That's saying a lot, because there's a lot of good scenes in this movie. A lot. It's definitely the best out of the Pirates movies. Alright, so this fight's pretty unique, obviously. What you have to do is you have to kind of jump in the air and then attack. Because he is stuck in the wheel. And there you go. You just jump and then attack, and you knock him out of the wheel. You jump in here, and you just start attacking him. Pretty fun. Very different. I don't know why just the camera was rotating there. It's pretty weird looking. And again, Jack gets stuck in there, so you have to pretty much do the exact same thing again. See where is he? Here he is. So yeah, 
Just keep doing the same exact thing. Just three more times now. Yeah, just the music, the uh, fight itself, just how do you not love this fight? I'm sure you could have problems with it if you didn't know what you are doing, but whoops. Like that, that's kind of annoying. Kind of need to center myself a little bit better. Now we just gotta wait for the platform up. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. That uh, wasn't a good idea either. There we go. Now just get in there, Norrington. There we go. Alright. Now after this hit, he's gonna jump up top, and we're just gonna get to keep on hitting him. If I can get up there. There we go. I like how Will's not attacking him at all. Oh, come on. That's not cool. I'm stuck in the wheel. Yeah, I, lo I love how Will is in no way attacking him. It's like, thanks for the help, buddy. Alright, there we go. The wheel is now done. I like this, that he puts that guy's head in there. I think he should have done that in the movie. Alright, so we cannot play as Jack. We are forced to play as Pintel and Rigetti. Uh, we could play as the other characters, but I'm going to play as Rigetti. Because like I said, he's awesome. Now, what the, the point here is that we have to keep killing a bunch of guys from the uh, Flying Dutchman. The guys that aren't just pure blue, those are the guys we have to kill. Like the guy I'm fighting right now. Yeah, him. Um, not this guy, because he's... Actually, no, I think, yeah, he is one of them. Because he's not wearing blue. Alright, so that's all of them there. Oof, that guy got hit right in the face. So yeah, just like in the, the movie, Norrington is going to, you know, do that. But he, in fact, still has the heart. Or does he? No, he does. Alright, so Isla Cruces is done. It's a fun level. I really like that a lot. One of the best in uh, this game. Elizabeth Trader. Alright, so um, we will do... I think the next level is the Kraken in the next video. So, see you then.